Dr. Littlefield, did you really tell Rich Gerard to go screw? He's a local reporter. He says you told him to go screw. Is that true? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Okay, so while the citizens pour themselves into the black hole of the civic process that's been set up for them, I guess I'll take a little bit of a tour of this school and see if I find some things to like and not like. The first thing I noticed, almost the first thing, is that it's extremely clean. I'm glad to be able to say something good about a government institution in New Hampshire, and that I can definitely say. So far, it looks like there's a dearth of pro-government propaganda on the walls. Like, for instance, if you were to look at Northampton, the school district, the cafeteria there. All right. Anyway, the you would see the walls covered with, uh, you know, stuff like pictures of Abraham Lincoln and soldiers and stuff like that. How much of that here? They have their meetings in a uh, middle school, which is named after an educator. When you enter the building, or at least when I entered the building about 4.40, uh, 4.57 p.m., you've got to get buzzed in. But someone did buzz me in pretty quickly. Dr. Littlefield, did you really tell Rich Gerard to go screw? He's a local reporter. He says you told him to go screw. Is that true? Did you refuse to grant a right to know request on the part of one of your board members regarding your communications with other school districts? Ms. Axon, you seem well enough spoken on the board. Is not talking to the press good for democracy? No, thank you. I have a question for you, ma'am. Uh, to what extent does, to what extent, you don't even know the question yet. To what extent does your school uh, restrict good men and women from defending the students? And to what extent are you culpable for anything bad that re results from your restrictions? Shouldn't taxpayers get an answer from you? Do you have contempt for my 5,000 viewers? All right, well, as much stonewalling as I got, I still have one or two more nice things to say about this bunch. Not only did they have a very open-ended section for you know, comments from the public, and not only were they pretty tolerant, they also actually had comments for the public at the beginning and near the end of the meeting, which I think is a little bit innovative and kind of cool. So credit where credit's due, whether they like me or not, I can see some good. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.